Hey, thanks for checking out Live on Tape Delay, episode 471 in Western New York. I'm Chris Wilson. On the other end of the internet, all by his lonesome, Rob Fiasco. That's me, you know, just over here trying to get through the day with good friends and good conversation. And I think we've accomplished that today. So enjoy. You're going to learn a lot, I think. It's probably stuff you don't know. I mean, you might if you, if you, you know, if you do know, then kudos to you. But I it's a lot of good know. stuff in here. So there you go. So just sit back. It's going to be a good one. You take notes. Probably you're going to need to break out the Excel spreadsheet. Just do it all. It's going to be. It's going to be good. Educational. Ray's not here, and we get into some good stuff. So just get get ready. I'm about to get learnt in 471. Enjoy. Wilson, are you there? I was just going to say, Rob's online early. That means uh, that means we've got new soundboards. Oh, oh, oh do we? Oh, Not really. Oh, 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 okay. What is happening? All right. Shut down. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Thought about shutting down today. That was my... Oh, yeah. well, it's just, just, just you and me today, I guess, right? That's it? Old, That's, it's old school? Yeah. All right. Uh, I inquired about the status of Ray Beans, and uh, this is what I found out. He's a hacker. He's a Chinese hacker. <laughs> so do with that who, what you will. Who knew? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's why he's here. Maybe it's not. We, we don't really know. We don't know. I don't know what he does. But he's not here today. He's not here. He'll have an adventure to talk about next, uh, next week then. I'll, I'll talk about my adventure instead. How about that? We'll do it. Let me jump right sure. into an adventure that I wasn't expecting. Let's go. Yeah. So... It's, it was one of those days today. One that I'd rather not, you know, relive. Just professionally. Nothing nothing catastrophic, but just one of those, eh, this sucks. Need a distraction. So I get home, and I forget that my wife had told me, hey, mm-hmm. last night, the PlayStation in the living room, the old PS4, like, the fan went bonkers, and it started sounding like it was grinding and something. She goes, and then it shut off, and it wouldn't turn back on. I'm like... Okay, let's take a look at it. This would be a nice little distraction of the day. I like stuff like this. Sure. Yeah. So first thing you do, you know, you pull the power, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, fire it up. She fires right up. I go, okay, maybe it's just one of those stupid PlayStation things. Have you tried turning it on? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you pull power. So I put it into rest mode because I wasn't going to watch it. You know, because that's the normal power down thing. You put it into rest Mm -hmm. mode and you walk away. So I go make a cup of coffee. I come back into the living room and I hear this and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm assuming it's coming from the PlayStation. Like, what else is it going to be? I'm just fucking right. thing. So I go down and listen in rest mode. You hear that. Like, what the fuck? All right. So I boot it up again. I'm like, because it sounded like the drive, actually. It's just yeah. got a little laptop hard drive in it. So I'm like, oh, if this drive's going, I don't know. So I fire it up. And it doesn't change. It's still doing that. I'm like, all right, maybe it's a fan thing, probably. And I know, like, Ratchet and Clank, for some reason, that's on that one. My kid plays it every once in a while. Is mm. Gets that fan hauling ass. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to boot up Ratchet and Clank. Let's see what this thing does. Boots up, it's fine. But it's real quiet. Like, the fan's not doing anything. Then the fan huh. kicks in. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. It's like... It, I, I can't even make that noise, but it is it's like grinding or something. I'm like, oh, this, wow. this is bad. I, so I'm thinking I threw the bearings in the in the fan. I'm like, fuck it, I'm tearing it apart. I need a distraction at this point. So it was just I, I ripped the thing out, start pulling stuff apart. Of course, I don't have the tools I need. Where are the tools I need? In my office, 45 minutes away. <laughs> so, but, so, but I, I own the tools. So what? What? Uh, if you're me, what do you do? You go buy the tools. Again, run to Home Depot. Another another 40 bucks for a little set of shit that I already own. Okay, right. Fine. No problem. I'll have one up there. I'll have one here. I'll have one in the office. Yeah. No, at some point I'll have one in the basement, at work, in the garage. Yeah. It's like I'll just have my own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Under the sink for no reason. Start asking for them for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, just I know I'm going to I know I'm going to leave these somewhere. Can I just get a new set? Yeah. So anyway, I come back. All set, start ripping into it, start ripping into it. And I'm watching a little video. So I'm not, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much. 
It's the, I, I fix it. They actually make really good videos. Oh, that's cool. So I'm tearing into it and I'm, I'm following along, following along. I get all the way down to the fan is like the deepest part of oh, wow. a PlayStation. Who knew? Hmm. So I get down to, you know, pull the drive out, pull all the, all the Wi-Fi antenna, pull the, the actual hard drive, pull the. Now you have to pull the motherboard. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Pop. And it pops a little bit. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Okay. But it's still good. I didn't snap it. I didn't, whatever else. Right. I flip it over. And what I, what that pop was, was the thermal paste between the processor and the, the heat sink. So I'm like, uh, well, fuck. I go, I'm watching the video. She didn't say anything about take the two parts together or anything like that. So I, yeah. I pop the thermal paste. Okay, great. Fuck. But I had to because there was two more screws under the motherboard to get the heat sink off. So I'm like, I guess I had to do this. I don't know, whatever. So I put everything aside. I get in there. I, I tear the fan out. It looks fine. I can spin it by hand fine. You know, so I'm blowing it out. I'm cleaning it. I'm whatever. I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'll put it back together and try it. See what, you know, I'm not out anything. So I watched the other video, which I was just mm-hmm. going to go, okay, I'll just, I'll kind of just reverse through this one or I can kind of remember what, what's going on. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? It's going to be smoother. They they also have a, Hey, if you want to put it back together, click the, click the box in the That's upper cool. left or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, let's do that one. Second step, first step, put the fan back in. Here's the two screws. Second step, put the plate down. Cool. Third step. By the way, you're going to need thermal paste for this. God damn it. Ah. So they don't tell you when you're tearing it apart. So you, I've got this shit all over my dining room like, table. Is that the first comment? Like, did, I, you, did you think like, I didn't even read it. I should go back to the disassembly one and be like, hey, by the way, don't do this yeah. unless you're prepared. Like, it's not just open it up, dust it off and put it back together. Like, right. You yeah. have more to do. So I was like, God here's damn it. A, here's a weird question. Hmm. What is thermal paste? It's like a, a, a paste. It's like a goo that uh, you put on top of a processor. Even in computers, mm-hmm. you do it. You put it on top of the processor and it glues the heat sink to it. So it's a super conductive adhesive. So when the processor gets hot, it's not insulated from the, the heat sink that has to radiate it off it transmits all that heat through the paste. It's just, it's a, yeah, it's a heat conducting glue is really all it is. So, uh, so I, I'm like, I'm just going to leave it apart at this point. I'll, I don't care if the fan works cause I'm already torn apart. I'm going to order a new fan at this point. If I've got to dig into the thing and repaste the fucking processor. Okay. Right. So then I start looking at like, I've got shit everywhere. I can't leave this for a couple of days while a fan comes in. You know what I mean? Like I can't. mm. Yeah. So I'm like, I guess I'm just going to put it back together. I put it back together. Didn't need the video actually. So, but I'm glad I watched it for the, Hey, don't fire it up before you repaste it. Okay. Okay. So I at least put it back together. One as practice and two. So I didn't Hmm. lose all the parts. (laughs) Right. So it's now, it is now reassembled. It is now sitting on the shelf under the TV. And I told everybody, don't plug it in. Don't plug it in. I don't want power to this thing. I don't want it to even pretend to boot up because if it does, even if the fan does work, that processor could overheat. You burn that processor out. You're fucked. You know, you're just done. So there it is. So what's, what's a replacement fan cost? Yeah. Like 40 bucks. That's not bad. No. What are you using in place of that in the meantime? Nothing. I told them, I'm like, you're watching anything in, you're- watching in, in, in there? Cable. So fi- oh, yeah, right. finally, cable. finally, all the, you know, the $200 a month that I've been paying, say, you know, throwing it out the window. Now there's something to watch in the living room. There you go. So Excellent. hopefully, hopefully I'll get that ordered tomorrow. And I'm sure from the same place, I can get a little thing of fucking pasty goo. Paste. Yeah. But it's different. Hmm. I've got to clean the old stuff off. I've never done that before. I heard it's tedious. But at this point, PlayStation doesn't work. So I'm not going to break it more. Right. I have a chance right. of fixing it, but it doesn't yeah. work now. So that's the kind of shit that I'm comfortable working on. Like, yeah, I can't break it more. Yep. So, but it was a good, it was a good distraction. But as I'm putting it all together, I'm watching the clock. I'm like, oh shit, it's like nine o'clock. I'm like, oh no, I, I, I hope I'm done with this by nine 30. Oh my God. So I finished it up at like quarter after nine. I'm putting all the shit away. I'm like, good. Okay. So. Uh, maybe you can fix this because I did find my external hard drive. Okay. It does not work. It doesn't so. drive or hard. It does not drive my, it, 
my computer makes the sound when you plug it in via USB, which maybe that's just a, hi, I've connected to something sound, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I can't find any type of drive on my computer. Um, Interesting. That it is about 10 years old, and that's my concern. Like, I and maybe they've come, this is why I never, ever want to use external hard drives. Because, I mean, had I put shit on here from 10 years ago, I can't access it anymore. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident. This is where we're going to lose the last listener we had. I'm pretty confident. Oh wait, I we'll know, get into meme coins later. And I, then yeah, we'll yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get them back. Hopefully, yeah. They they won't know. Yeah, if we don't lose them now, we'll lose them then. Um, yeah, that drive. Just from what I saw, a little bit. Does that take external power as well, or is it just yes. the USB? No, it is external power. Okay. It's probably the data is fine and I can get it off of there for you. It will take me approximately. Five I don't minutes. know that there's anything on it. Oh, okay. What I had one very similar to that, that mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything, but it did make the USB connect noise. So for whatever the fuck that meant, and it was an external one, I ripped it apart because that's what I do. Can't break it more. Ripped right. it apart inside is just a regular ATA hard drive. So I was like, huh? Okay. And it's the, actually the one that I use for editing. It's my audio backup. So what I did is I bought a dock for 30 bucks that will accept. You just like put the raw hard drive in it. It's got the connectors oh, cool. right in the back. It'll take yeah. a, a regular ATA hard drive or it'll take the small laptop hard drives. And hmm. you put the drive in it and you push the on button and there it is. So it's basically That's a power cool. supply. I lost no data. So That's my awesome. guess is... It's the power supply portion of that that's fucked, but the drive inside and based on the size, it's a regular ATA hard drive. Yeah. I, I could slam it in my dock and pull the shit right off for mm -hmm. you. So next time you're up, bring it. I'll, I'll, uh, I've got the tools now to pull yeah. it apart here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's possible also that I, it's formatted for my Mac. Oh, you could try that first. That that might be a good one. I'm gonna try that first. Yeah, but you would think that it would still recognize the drive, but maybe maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. I don't know. So I'm gonna try that first, and then mm. and then I'll bring it up with me at some point, and we'll. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, usually it shows up as a as a drive, think. but a non-readable, you know, unrecognized right. yeah. format or something. Yeah. So I'll try. I'll try on the Mac, and if not, yeah. I mean, I don't care. It's just. Seagate. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I, mean, I, I, I imagine a one terabyte hard drive is much smaller than this now. Yeah, well, it's especially like a, I've got a couple. I've got two little SSDs. What's the biggest I can get? Right, like a good. I'm gonna get like a like a three, five terabyte. Uh, I know you can get like threes. Threes are pretty common. Five, I'm pretty sure I've seen. Beyond that, you might be into like server territory. I don't but know. then, like, also. Like, I'm not running games off an external, so what do I need? Like, I need it to be on the computer, I think, right? Like, like wouldn't you want your hard like drive a, to be built? Like, if you're doing gaming, thing, like things like that, where you need to, like, or is that just using processor and it's not really using storage at all? Yeah. You can download I, the game. So, I, I don't gaming, know. Gaming itself <sighs> probably wants an onboard ssd it's going to be right. your fastest you yeah. know your fastest deal but you could have all your other stuff on that drive yeah. and open up your computer yeah. for gaming so i know looking at like a ps5 um i had a bunch of games on an external i still do a bunch of ps4 games on an external hard drive and they run fine like over the usb it's fine because the the, the speed it's pulling is still underneath what usb can handle however mm -hmm. PS5 games, there's so much more data, you have to load them on the internal, it's a little right. M2 SSD. Mm -hmm. To that end, if you do put old PS4 games, because I was running Squadrons off my external, that's just where I had it. And that's mm -hmm. it took the same amount of time from that as it did from the internal mm -hmm. PS4 drive. So I just kept running it that way when I got the PS5. Mm -hmm. I said, let's, let's try this. Let's do this as an experiment. I moved it over to the onboard, and it loads lightning fast so it is there is a difference right. even you know what i mean it's right. not just the the software it's it's how fast it wants to pull and process right so for games i would say no. it's, you probably want it internal on an ssd for the for the highest right. 
deal. So what did they, I don't even know, like, obviously when I got this gaming PC, I did not think storage was going to be, like, I want like at least three to five times more than what I have now. And I don't know what I have now. I don't even think I have a terabyte to be honest. Oh, really? On, on, on this computer. That's like my work laptop. When I found out that that's like a 512 gig or something and I'm like, oh, oh. Okay, it might even be like a 256. I'm like, my phone has as much fucking memory as my laptop does. But it works for me up there. Yeah, my, it must be 512, because 237 gig is what it says for Windows, uh, and then 226 gig used. Okay. I mean, you can add it, you can add drives. I, don't, I just, I would rather, like, because that's not, drive space isn't the only thing I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So... I would rather just, I've got a, a really old computer that is basically doing one or two simple tasks. I would essentially like move this computer into that spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just shift everything down. Do, yeah, it can do a lot more things. Then I can do even more things with the with the newer computer. Yep. And then still keep everything that's running just fine for this for the next, you know, foreseeable future. There's no problems with it at all. Yeah. I just, I need a little more from it. Yeah. And that's, that's about what I did. What was it last fall or whenever, when I bought the, I bought the new laptop. Is it that long already? I think it was, I think it was right after, I think it was like November, October, hmm. somewhere okay. in there. I think. Yes, it was. Uh, I know. Here you go. Here's how my memory oh, works. Boy. I have to, I have to associate things. Uh, it was right around the second week of October. The reason I know that is, October 22nd is when we did the uh, Rocket League stream with the comedy oh, pickaxe was because we wanted to do it like before Halloween or like right around right. Halloween. And when I booted up the stream, I had just configured the new laptop and I the ah, stream didn't right. work. So I had to rip this that down. I had to put it in. So that's how my that's how my mind works. Tra cool. Track every yeah. associate everything until you do get to a date. But, yeah, I've got the other the old laptop sitting here and it is. In laptop terms, old. I think I bought this one in 17 or 18. So it's getting up there. But like, yep. if I need it to do mobile editing or if I need to take it somewhere, like I took it, yeah. uh, I didn't want to rip my whole setup down in here, but I had some shit that I had to do. I dropped my car off at uh, at the garage a while ago and like walked mm -hmm. down the street to a Starbucks. So I took the so I took the the old one with me and it did nice. fine. It did fine. You know, I remember the days of strolling up to what was the coffee shop there in Lakewood? Going with the, I'd always have my uh, bring my laptop bag in, and we'd get yelled to, at. Uh, uh, why for downloading music? No, we got yelled at. That place still exists, and now I'm pissed that I can't come up with it. They moved down into the center of Lakewood, but anyway, um, it'll come to me. No, we were sitting there. I had my old ass IBM in there, and we were working on tunes. And, uh, and we, we were being a little loud, apparently. And I remember us yeah. getting yelled at, like we were, you know, talking in study hall or something. All right. We That's were, we were being assholes. It was fine. Probably. Yeah. We were assholes. That's funny. Yeah. But yeah, I just, that's fine. I remember always walking around with like, having my laptop bag and, you know, but now I don't have a bag or a laptop. I, I have, uh, I have my iPad. Again, worth it's the, worth iPad. the money. Any laptop folks out there, I will stand by it. They haven't changed it. Swiss Army makes a laptop backpack, and mm. I saw I mm. saw a lot of production guys that would wear them. Yeah, they, they would, yeah. They're so I bought one. It was like I don't know, 120 bucks or something. I've had that thing for years. I still have it. I don't use it that things much like anymore. That, right? They things like that are worth the additional money. Mm -hmm. in my Again, and it's one of those like, oh, you're you're paying for the brand name. I, I don't care, man. Swiss Army makes some good. They've got a good reputation. They make some good shit. They're not necessarily known for luggage, I guess, but I will stand by that that bag. In fact, in that bag is where my other toolkit is right now, right as we speak. My little toolkit, no, it course. all comes around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of coming coming around, I'll tell you about my day. Yes, hit me. I went to my annual optometry appointment. So every every year, I try to. April to like June, I try to, you know, knock out the, the dreaded doctors. Okay. Um, starting, I, I, I don't mind the optometrist at all. No, I actually I get there too. So, um, so I was going for that. 
Um, so this is the first year, and I think we talked about it maybe end of last year. I signed up for an HSA, and I've been contributing to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, every paycheck. So I was able to get, you know, the the eye exam, and then I ordered uh, three months worth of contacts, and then my prescription changed slightly in my glasses but i wanted a second pair of glasses anyway okay uh so now that i actually like wearing my glasses like i'd like to have multiple pairs sure so i got another pair of glasses um which it let me use my insurance which was cool like that didn't happen last time like it didn't mm. it didn't accept my insurance but I, I went there anyway um so i did that as well nothing i didn't like so i'm getting New contacts, new glasses, and got my exam. And no out of pocket cost. Right, right. Just, just out of the savings. Which just is out good. of the HSA, which that's what it's there for. It, exactly. Yeah. And and your contributions to that. Now we're turning out. We're getting real adult. When the fuck did this podcast turn adult? Ray's your, not here. Your contributions to that. The median age of this podcast is now forty four and a half. I know. I know. We're gonna. <laughs> we're getting old. Um. You know, it's all it's uh, all pre tax. Pre tax, so you're you're yeah. good. It's a it's a yeah. beautiful it's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's great. It was just good. I was just like, this is great, and I'm getting. I already like I like these glasses, so I just got a different style, same frames, just different color. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to get to you know, the eye doctor. I, know I like them. So, so I, I can't. Uh, I recommend if you have a Warby Parker in your your area. I know you do not. Um, I just uh, I've had I like them so mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, my wife's done the experience. online things with them, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's how I started, and then they started opening up brick and mortar stores, and then I started going to those. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, and if they're listening there, they kind of got off the ground by uh, horking their wares on podcasts. So we'll we'll uh, sure did. We'll, we're only going to hork you for free for so long here. That's that's right. We're going to need we're gonna gotta, need some. You got to pay us to hork. Yeah. Speaking of Horkin, uh, we are finally updated. So head over to our link tree. Um, if you had tried to join the, the, the Discord, I am sorry. My fault. Uh, the link expired after seven days. So even like the episode, the first episode after I set it up, it was probably expired. <laughs> um, By the time it aired. You, you didn't let us know. Yeah, which that's true. I'm a little disappointed about. Yeah. But uh, either way, updated, uh, not only with the current latest. So it's, it's everything. You just go work your way top to bottom. So you hit it up. Boom. Latest podcast episode. You're good to go. Next, you're feeling good after that episode. Head over to pump.fun, buy yourself a little grandma token. And that's our new cryptocurrency meme coin that's available. And uh, yeah, go throw five bucks at it. Why not? You never know. Yeah. Uh, and also get into crypto a little bit. Then after that, you can join our Discord and tell us how much you bought. And hey, maybe we'll come up with some like special roles or channels for token holders. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Never know. We, need to see, we need to see that there's interest first. We're not going to do this work yeah. for free. Like, to, like no. to just do it and then have nobody all, show no. up. Let us know. That's what we've done all the rest of the shit for. Yeah. Uh, then you can go check out the blog, a regularly updated. <laughs> is that what it's called? Because that'd be a great title. That is a great title. We should change it. <laughs> um, then after that, after you've you've saw all the work that we've been putting in over the last nine years, you can support us on Patreon. Then if you really can't get enough and you're like, I need more, then you really get into the meat and potatoes of our back catalog with some of our, our Spotify playlists, our YouTube videos that we've done over the years, some of our awesome interviews that we've done with creators and musicians. So even our, our failed uh, vinyl and beer uh, YouTube show from way back. Uh, so it's all here. So go check it out. It works. Uh, link to the link tree is on our Instagram or it's link tr.ee forward slash live on tape delay. That's easy enough. How can you not remember that? It's right. Go to it now. Not That's if you're right. driving though. Sorry. I don't no, want to yeah, encourage can... destructive behavior. Yeah. Wait till you get home and check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Well, I figured, uh, Ray's not here. Wait, uh, what? I could... Oh shit. <laughs> I could walk you through uh, meme coins a little bit. All right. 
and the the listeners as well. Um, won't be as easy to follow along without video, but I think I think I think you can do it if you really want to do it. Uh, we'll, we'll point you in the right direction with the resources. Yeah, we'll so. we'll try here for. Uh, I'll I'll be the guinea pig for all the folks that maybe aren't into uh, mm-hmm. into crypto yet. So so this, feel this free to ask. Feel free to ask any questions. First things first. A little overview about what what's going on here so so right now if, you know if you're familiar with crypto at all it might just be you've heard bitcoin you've heard some things in the news maybe you've heard of ftx yada 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 we'll dive deep 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 down in the rabbit hole and you'll get to to meme coins and what they are essentially are you know you've heard of memes which are really nothing these are tokens that are essentially nothing with just nothing more than a, fu- a funny name yeah cutesy yeah that being said people then like to assign a value to it like they do anything in life a beanie baby of you know whatever and if people then trade those if it's wanted it's worth something and they, that the is whole correct. goal is to make it wanted mm-hmm. that's it right um right now meme Coin trading is very popular on Solana blockchain. Uh, Base, Blast, those are the ones I know of mostly. Um, Solana, while not not right now, it's a little congested. Uh, more on that later, maybe. Um, but because of the speed and the cheapness. So if you think back a couple of years, like you think of Ethereum, when our, the NFT craze a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. To do a transaction on Ethereum at its, you know, when it was super like me or NFT craze 2021 could be like thousands of dollars and your transaction might not even go through. Because it was so congested. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. So you people, it's so that's just, I don't know. So it's, it was, it's not feasible to even come up with any thing like that i mean maybe there are meme i'm sure there are meme coins like doge and things like that are built off of you know i don't know if doge is built off of ethereum but uh there are ones built on top of you know uh layer twos i'm sure um but the thing about these some of these other ones they're they're cheaper and they're faster so of course that bodes well for trading things that have a lot of value one second and are worth absolutely nothing a second later. Sure. Um, and, and, and I almost, maybe this is wrong, but I almost think of certain chains will fall <laughs> into certain roles. I think I agree. And, 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 you know, I'm not saying that uh, Solana is or isn't the meme coin chain. I, it, it doesn't matter. But if, right. if it is right now, you know, it's that's why you go there. You go to the butcher shop to get meat. So you'll go to Solana yeah. to get to do your meme coin yeah. stuff. OK, but then you're going to go to the whatever the fuck. Pretend there's no supermarkets. You're going to go to the to the dairy place. What the, what's that called? Uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying, you know, to, yeah. do, to do your other transaction stuff. That's right. In my mind, how I kind of think of it. That's kind of that's kind of how I think about it, too. Um, so. So we'll be talking, I haven't, I just like Solana. Um, Base has been a lot of talk about, I think that's kind of like based off of Coinbase, um, like they're invested in it. So I just don't use it personally because I'm trying to stay like as much like bigger company, like I just don't want them involved. Um, Yeah, well, you've already, you're already in the game as well. So I think, and, and maybe... This will be a good little Pardon. exercise. Even I'll, like I said, I'll be the guinea pig. Where do I start? Where do you start? Where you... do I start? What is step one? The, the, looking at this to say the ultimate goal is to mm-hmm. buy the Grandma Behu meme coin. So we're going to step through this. And if we have time and I don't have to wait for authentications and everything else, we're going to get through it in the next half of this fucking show. All right. Excellent. So... There's two methods. One would be to use a centralized exchange. So depending on where you live here in the U.S., that would primarily be Coinbase. Okay. Um, And then you're limited to states as well. They're not, you know, legal in every state. Uh, Coinbase is probably legal in the most states. So um, that would be probably your first 
stop. All right. And then if that isn't an option, then you would go to like a, a third party, like a moon pay or a transact. Okay. Um, well, for the sake of whatever, I'm, I'm in the U S I'm in New York. I'm at coinbase.com. I'm signing up. I think I might actually already have an account here. So I am an individual. I would like to trade, send and receive crypto and get price alerts. Individual get started. We're walking right through this email address. Oh, Let's see. This is where it, I, I see if I already have one, which I think I do. Nope. Apparently I don't here, at least with this email address. Legal first name. I do know my first name. Hmm. I also know my last name, which is crazy. I need a password, which is a minimum of eight characters. That's not all that. That's not very secure. No, but that I've noticed um, in some places, and I think this is terrible security, is that you get the password wrong, and then they tell you that the password needs to contain like oh, a special character. I've I'm like, you that. just eliminated half the work for hackers. Yep, they know not to. Yep. Like that it has to include a special character. Like what? Come on. All right. And then I am certifying that I am 18 years of age or older. Create free account. Account already exists with this email address. God damn it. <laughs> Why don't they tell you that earlier? I know. I know. It's like they let you, they let it get to that. All right. Well, let's then go back, back. And where's my, let's do that one. Password, forgot password, reset password. Your password link is no longer valid. Why? Why? I just it just sent it. How long do I have? You might not be able to move forward either because if you do a password change, there's usually a minimum 24 hours before you can withdraw off the platform. Oh, really? That's yeah, security measure. Looking in my email. <laughs> Reset my password. Came in seconds ago. Choose a new password. Okay, now now it's working. All right. People are listening to my you thoughts? my typing. Fight the planet! Hell yeah. It's it's quite the hack here just trying to uh, create an account. All right. Never do that. Oh, now. Rock flag and eagle. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm really impressed with the, the work ethic of Rob McLehenny. He's Yeah, he's kind of got his hands in everything, doesn't he? He's like, they just wrapped up season four of Mythic Quest, and then he's also got Wrexham, and I think he's like a part owner of an F1 team. And it's always oh, really. How do you how do you spend time just with your life? Yeah, right. It's like a lot, but he's the Ryan Seacrest of whatever. This is where the security gets in. Hey, we don't recognize this device, of course, because I'm just making my new thing. Hey, we're going to send an email. The, you mean that we're going to send an email to the address? So, and you have to confirm that this is a device of yours. Wouldn't it be because I just got the email to reset my password? So I, I don't I know. know, right? All right, now I have to set up a pass key. Oh, boy. Okay, get started. How about not now? I'll set up a pass key later. There you go. Somebody wants to hack my $5, we'll do that. I, yeah. I am a human. View my info, verify info. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot here. So it's, There is a lot. But that's good because, you know, you've got to fill out yeah. a bunch of shit when you go to a bank or something like that. Oh, man, financial stuff that you expect to transfer to your Coinbase account in the next 12 months? Oh, yeah, definitely under the minimum. What industry do yeah. you work in? I'm going to say arts and media. None of this is false. All this stuff, they got to report to the government. I know. That's why I'm Thanks, like, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not security stuff. Like, I'm just telling people what it is. Like, they could guess. Yeah. Okay. I already set up the majority of this stuff. Ba 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 ba. Yep, 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 yep. It knows uh, all this stuff. So, okay. Yep. Looks good. So that part might take a little bit longer uh, if you're brand, brand new to it, but a lot of my stuff's yes. in here. So it's all, it's all your, yeah, all your tax bullshit. Yeah. So yeah, looks good. Looks good. Great. All right. So now I've, I've successfully just logged into a thing that I already had, but here we are. Hold well on. You made it. My it balance, zero dollars, zero cents. Cool. Well done. Cool. Hey, you haven't, you haven't lost any. Nope. All right, so what do I do now? If I go to my assets, which I know are zero, it goes, mm -hmm. hey, do you want to get a Coinbase wallet? Do I want to get a Coinbase wallet? Well, are they talking about a Web3 wallet? Or are they talking about... I believe it, lo it looks like their wallet. Because they don't really, like, the Coinbase exchange, the traditional exchange itself, like, is, you don't really have a wallet, 
but then they also have a Coinbase wallet, which is a Web3 wallet, which is completely different, although kind of linked to your reg- regular Coinbase account. It's um, It allows you to interact with all the, the decentralized apps and everything, right. um, which you can't do on just the Coinbase exchange. Okay, so should I get one? Loop. Can't hurt, right? Yeah, why not? I have one. Get one. I will recommend if you are uh, signing up for Coinbase, they have a lot of learning rewards. I've got probably hundreds of dollars doing their learning rewards throughout the uh, years. And then you can keep that token and learn about it, or you could trade it into something else, which I often do. So the next I got my, my get my wallet, and do I would I like to add the Chrome extension? Now, the reviews say garbage. I put it on Microsoft. Okay, I'm not going to read that because it says I put it on Microsoft Edge. So fuck off anyway. Uh, yeah. um, and that's all the bad reviews that I can see right now. So, okay, great. I'm going to add yeah. to Chrome. Why not? Yeah, do that. I think that'll work. I think that might make it easier for you. Like I said, this is all new anyway. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Coinbase wallet good. extension has been added to Chrome. Manage your well, extensions by blah, 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 blah to get your extensions on all your computers. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right. So the Chrome extension is installed. So I, I, I have a Coinbase account. I apparently have a Coinbase wallet. Well done. Cool. Now, where do we go? What are we doing? Now we need to buy some crypto. All right. Let's do it. So let's get some Solana. Okay. So I would assume you go to, is there, what's the easiest way to homepage? They have like, a, oh, buy and sell at the top. That'll work. Okay. I had a payment method. This is the part I'm not going to tell you guys. Hmm. Oh, signing up with Plaid. Is that something I should do? Or should I do that Mm. later? You will have to do that to transfer money. Okay. So continue. Yeah. They do the uh, identity verification portion. Okay. To make sure you are who you say you are. Okay. And that you have the correct access to the bank account that you're trying to use. Okay. Okay. Now, what's interesting here, I may not be able to do this. I may have solved because select your institution is not one of the clickable uh, because I have a small bank. Oh, then you will have to link manually. I think if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there'll probably be a add manually using routing an account number. No, that's what I was hoping for. Maybe if I... Or, is that, or are you doing that? That was for ACH, right? Or oh, if I type bank? it, uh, hmm. got it. I can do it here. I found it. I found my bank. Good job. Oh, good job. Enter your credentials by providing your bank credentials to Plaid. You're enabling Plaid to retrieve your financial data. Okay. All right. I got to look that up because I don't remember that because it's saved in my phone. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Getting close. Grandma's getting anxious. Hell yeah. I can taste it. No, that's bad. Um, <laughs> Taster. All right. I have to. Grandma cannot be tasted. Unlike Jesus, she is not in the form of a bread or wine. Yeah. Grandma smokes blunts. <laughs> <laughs> Peace be with you, homie. Peace be right. with you. Oh, I'm I'm working Peace. on check marks, so maybe my bank will let me do it. Oh boy. It's thinking. It's thinking. I know it's everybody's on pins and needles here waiting to see if my bank will let this happen. Bigger banks, I think you're gonna you're gonna walk right through this. Eh, depends. Some hate crypto, but oh, really? Generally, generally, bigger banks are a better option. Well, I mean, especially like with the the plaid thing there, when it it, po- it pops yeah. up, you know, I would have to say that the banks that they post, like as the quick link, like the click here, yeah. those those are it was your M and T's and your citizens and your city banks and your you know that was kind of the ones that you're seeing yeah. there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got like a credit union or something like that, you might run into some troubles with some places, but. Interesting. See, I have multiple accounts. I don't have to link it with all my accounts. I can link it with only certain ones. That I'm going to do that because I have an account that I was about to close anyway, and no, that's now going to become token. that's now going to become my play account. All right, done. Don't have to cancel it. Hey, hey, let's come up with a use for it. So there you go. Boom. It was my old savings account that I used for when the garage fell down. Oh, uh, routing number. Oh, I usually just yell my wife for this information let's get an old ass checkbook here and see if it says it in here or i'm just is it really i don't know i just made that up because that sounds familiar 
I could be right. I have to go get it. I'm not going to tell them. Then they know. <laughs> then they know what bank I have. Yeah. Edit, edit that part out. I, I will. But I think <laughs> that that does sound familiar. Hold on. <laughs> I, I hope. I hope. I still remember that. I think you're right. Oh wait. Oh. I have this one ratty book of checks that has just been kicking around forever because you know I write three checks a year. Right. So it's. In fact, if I go to the front of this. This one, this one that has, uh, what is it, 50 checks per little book here? Or is it only yeah. 25? 50. Uh, yeah. It goes back to 22, so that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. But I'll be writing less now that my kid isn't participating in. Huh. You you were correct. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good good to know that I have that information permanently. Permanently, permanently etched, etched in your brain. Okay. Yep. I haven't had an account there in a decade, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. If you want some old Navy skews for their painter jeans, you know, to come to. Uh, I, I, a lot of that has blanked off of me, yeah. although yeah, I, sure I did. Uh, I know the sizing still, I think. Certain battery numbers, will like watch batteries and shit, will stick in my mind yeah. from the old Radio Shack days. But yeah, like, I, oh, that looks like a, uh, that looks like a CR2032. Yes, yes, it is. Well, Chris is doing that. I will run through the 10 notifications I have on my Coinbase app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Like I said, this it shouldn't be this hard. This is me being stupid and not <laughs> having my information. So make sure you have your checking account information. Make sure you have your account numbers and routing numbers on hand. Uh, you can trade, send, receive, or store Tensor today on Coinbase. Tensor is an NFT trading marketplace on Solana that had an airdrop yesterday. Uh, or the other day, Monday, I got zero tokens. Uh, I don't really, I've used it, but apparently not enough to warrant an airdrop. So that's fine. Uh, next up, Gen Z more likely to own crypto than stocks. I would, I would believe it. And we're trying to show you how to buy a meme coin. So yeah, <laughs> Bitcoin top 71 K ordinals bets rise ahead of having. So ordinals are NFTs that are actually on Bitcoin. I have not looked into those at all, um, but that's the thing people are into. Your $50 purchase of Soul is complete. Oh, wait, that was me. <laughs> that was me. I bought some Soul. I need some I need some for some trading. Some trading. So, yeah, the uh, the next the next uh, Bitcoin halving is scheduled. <laughs> this article here from, from Decrypt. Bitcoin price returns to $69,000 ahead of 420 having <laughs> that is insane though that that i mean bitcoin uh, bitcoin started out as a joke to a lot of people i remember when that was no nah, pay me bitcoin you know and then that became you know oh bitcoin is fucking what did you say 70 or seventy thousand now sixty nine thousand. yeah yeah it's just it's nuts all right now that i have all my credentials that i actually know my okay. bank account is being verified this may take a couple of minutes. Instantly, your bank account has been successfully linked. Cool. Cool. So I'm now in there. Hold so on. now you're in there. I'm in. So now I should be able to buy and sell. Let's hope. Do I want to buy Bitcoin at seventy thousand dollars? I probably I no. I probably don't have that to spend. You should change Yeah. You should change that. Well, that's just in the so, hey, 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 you want to buy this? Ah. Uh, because I want to buy five dollars. The same, the same thing on my screen. Are you looking at my screen? That is what I'm seeing, but all it's giving me is Bitcoin at this point. So you can't. You don't have the ability. To... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Found it. Found it. Found the little hidden arrow. Gotcha. Solana. I can buy up to fifteen thousand dollars worth. That's not at all what's in my account. So I hope I can't buy that much. <laughs> I'm going to buy ten dollars worth of Solana. Me too. Okay. From there, Solana currently is at 0.0518 and changing. I will end yep. up with oh. $9.01, and I'm going to pay $0.99 cents to do it. That's where they get you. That's how these, these big boys make the money. Sure. And, and I understand that. I get it. I get it. 10% yeah. seems steep, but you know what? I'm, I'm fucking around. Buy yeah. now. I hope a couple weeks ago I said that uh, it took my bank four days when they didn't like a transaction I did. I hope this doesn't happen with this one because right. we'll end the episode now. And in four days, they'll say, hey, did you try to buy $10 worth of Solana? That's it. Yeah. 
My order yeah. was submitted. Oh, we will send you an email when your order status updates. All right. So now I'm just going to keep Ooh. checking my email, I guess. Well, yeah, I bet if you just go to my assets, it's already there because Solana is pretty quick. Uh, I just got the email. Your Solana purchase is now available to send or trade $10. All righty. I bought $10. I only have $8.88 now. Oh, mine's, mine's changed. Oh, eight eighty nine, eight ninety three. Oh damn! You got you bought at a better price than I did. <laughs> it keeps going to zero though. That's I don't know. It keeps yeah. flipping back and forth as it as it reads its mind. Okay, I got eight dollars so, and ninety three cents worth of Solana. Right. So now you need to get that into a into a Web three wallet and do a off off of a centralized exchange where it is now. Okay. So Coinbase centralized exchange. Trying to trying to remember all the players here. Yeah. Okay. That being said. The Coinbase wallet extension that you installed may have a Web3 wallet there. Um, otherwise, I like using Phantom. Um, I would recommend in, uh, installing a Phantom wallet. Okay, let's do that uh, then too. Let's do that. Okay, let's get, let's get me right. a Phantom wallet. Let's do it. So where am I let's, going? Let me find a good. Let me find a good link for you. All right. So it is Phantom app. Okay, my trusted companion. Apparently, uh, I, I guess I'll I'll uh, install this extension as well, right? Yep. I am currently on Chrome. I will change soon at some point. Add to Chrome. Add extension. Phantom. Create new wallet. To get started, create a new wallet or import one from a seed phrase. I'm gonna create yeah. a new one since I don't have one. That is correct. Create a password. You will use this to unlock your wallet. That is correct. It's usually what passwords do, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'd be a good skit about like uh, needing a password for your real wallet. Like we're like we're like we go to buy something, you know, like ah shit, like you're trying to get the money out, but it's locked, and then like all of a sudden your wallet disappears, and you're like, I gotta wait an hour before I can try again. Damn it, SNL! Why don't you let people submit ideas? Because your skits lately are terrible. <laughs> like your writers. I would do a better job. What is this? This phrase is the only way to recover your wallet. Do not share it with anyone. Yeah, don't lose that. Okay. But it's like all, there's 12 words yep. for a phrase. That is correct. So I need That's, all of these. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do this. So Sometimes there are 24 oh, words. Really? Okay. Yeah. Depends. That would be even higher level of security, okay. I would think. But 12 is pretty standard too. All right, all right. So we're gonna do this. I just don't wanna, don't wanna lose it. That's see. So that's the difference between so like a your that money that you have the ten dollars in Solana that you have on Coinbase. Like you're not gonna lose that. Like, I mean, well, if they went out of business, of course you'd lose it. Or if they got shut sure. down by the government, you'd lose it. Now creating a wallet. This is your wallet. Once you send these funds here, you're responsible for them. So you're okay. always gonna have them in your. So, you know, the banks could shut down, you know, you'll still have your eight dollars in salon. But you know, if the bank shut down, it'll probably be worth nothing. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. we've got bigger problems. But that being said. Okay, I have saved my recovery phrase. I'm all done. Thanks. Get started. All right. Cool. So where where do we go now? Open up that phantom extension. Got it. I would assume at the top, your price, price is like your balance 0. 0.00 probably. Yeah, it also says Solana is experiencing a, network congestion. That is true. That is true. Okay. Uh, is there a place that says receive? Yes. Click that. Okay. And there should be a long string of letters and numbers that is your wallet address for um, this specific wallet that you just created. If I do a drop down, there's a little arrow at the top. And there's Solana, Ethereum, and Polygon. And each okay, one of those select, has a... Select Solana. Okay, I do that, and it says copied. Let's, uh, it appears that that's what it did. It just copied the uh, the address. Okay. Okay. So then we'll go back to Coinbase. Okay, hold on. I got to reset on my Windows because I for some reason I lost you. There you go. Uh, no, you've popped it out in another window, but I can't get to it. What the fuck? Damn you, computer. This is not the time to have... Issues? Okay, there we go. All right, I've copied my my uh, Solana wallet number. And yeah, excellent. Okay. So are you under my assets and then uh, Solana? Did you click on Solana? 
Yes, I get the little graphy deal. Cool. So then there should be three vertical ellipses uh, to the right of your balance, where it says primary balance. Oh, primary balance is on a tab. Yep. Primary balance. My screen does not quite look like yours, but. Is there a send option there? It wants to verify my account again. What? Jesus Christ. It needs, it, it needs uh, more verification. It needs my driver's license now. Oh, geez. This started out as such a such a, a innocent idea. Right? Clearly, you only have to really do this once. And that's really all you need is one to, to on-ramp. Yeah. And again, this this is good. This is good for the for the listener to to the news. No, yeah. I mean there there is. It's not uh it's not click 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 and then you're in. There's there's yeah. a little no. bit of stuff here. Yeah, that's getting easier, but still a long way to go. So I have to verify myself that I exist. That's that's really where I'm at now. See, I'm not usually a 300 tab kind of guy, but I'm becoming that right now for this for this project. <laughs> <It's>... Project. <laughs> Once you dive in, that's that's yeah. how it starts. That's I mean I can get it, but it's it's just I'll close some of these old ones so I don't get them confused. Front, back, upload. So I don't know. I don't know if it verifies immediately or how it's going to do. We may have stalled here, right? For this, which is, which is so we can install uh, we, we can we can pick up back we can pick it back up on that. Um yeah. Next episode we can finish the buy. Yeah, maybe that'll be maybe that'll be all right. So we'll see. It's verifying um, means- I am who I am, and if it pops up, we'll we'll go back to it. But anyway, that's that's where right. we sit right now. Cool. Um, I've been spending the last week just going down the rabbit hole of of meme trading on Solana, specifically getting into copy trading. That's been my newest thing. Which what you're doing is trying to find traders that are consistently successful at trading meme coins. So that being said, and there's so many different ways to, to do things, and everyone does things differently. This is just what I'm doing right now. Um, so I start off on a site like Dex Screener, which is a basically a, an aggregate. It collects crypto analytic data across different exchanges, okay. uh, centralized, decentralized, provides it all in a nice little GUI for you, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's the, the, so the Google of the graphs. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different ones. I just like deck screener. So I'll start out here. I'll select the Solana ecosystem, and I'll just kind of take a look and be like, okay, I'll just start off here. What's been hot 24 hours? Okay, yeah, just filter so by the 24-hour column. So that's where I'll start, and I'll whittle my way down to the five minutes. Like, I will look at dozens of accounts. Um, so, but I'll just start here. We'll say, oh, Pep, okay, it's up. Two hundred and forty-two thousand percent. Holy shit! Great. Great. What is? That? I don't. I don't even care what it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so, just a number at this point. Yeah. So I don't care what it says. So they agree. I am who I am. By the way. So. Oh, do you want to, you want to go back? You can finish up this thought, and then we'll go back. Sure. Um. Yeah. So. So what I then do is go over to the top trader section, and you got to kind of know what you're looking for. A lot of these things, like people that somehow just sold $72,000 worth of tokens, but didn't buy any, like, I don't know, man, that's, that's shady. So Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in any of that. Um, So I usually scroll down quite a bit and what I'm looking for and, you know, find whatever works for you. But what works for me is to find people that turned 50 bucks into 150 or turn, you know, I, I can't really compete with people that are dropping $5,000 $5,000 to get 7,000 or something, you know, it's just, they might be, and, and that's fine. I just, I feel com- more comfortable looking at those kind of uh, things like that. So when I find something that looks interesting, there's this little uh, X exp- uh, open in block Explorer link, which actually brings you to uh, this is soul scan. So this is like the, the ledger essentially for the Solana blockchain. This is okay. where all the transactions are recorded. So you could, you know, uh, find all of the transactions that are happening, not on centralized exchanges, um, but, you know, like if I, if you sent this from your Coinbase wallet to your new Phantom wallet, you'd be able to see that transaction and verify it. So, okay. So what I'll do is I will then look through their wallet. Uh, what are they buying? Like oh, how much do they have? How how much do they have? What are they buying? How long are they holding it? Um so that's one. I'll start there. And because it's all anonymous, you're basically looking at this person's 
again, it's their, yeah, you know, like you said, their transaction ledger, but it's anonymous. So who cares? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if I think that's good enough, what I'll then do is head over to Telegram and there are some channels there where you can paste in an address and it'll analyze it and it'll give you uh return on investment over the last seven days, biggest trades, biggest fails, basically a nice little analysis of that person's account. Okay. From there I can go, mm, you know, Oh, I just happened to grab that one where they had a, a 300% win, but everything else they've done in the last seven days has been hundred percent losses. Okay. So yeah. yeah. Are you looking no, at, are you looking at somebody smarter? Or are you looking at a luck? Right. So I'll skip that. If I find some consistencies, what I'll then do is set up a copy trade. Um, so you're essentially, and you can, there's different settings. You don't have to buy, like if he's buying a hundred dollars, I don't have to buy a hundred dollars. I can buy $1. Mm -hmm. Um, but it just matches the the time of their trade. So I specifically am interested in the buy trade. I don't know of all these meme tokens which ones to get and which ones to get in. So well, that's you, what I'm. You know that someone. you know to get into Grandma Behu though. That's the. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, we're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in early on that one. Super yeah. early, early and after. So what I'll then do is I'll set that up and I'll start super low, like two dollars a trade, and I'll just set it up and I'll watch their trades. If that two dollars is turning into eight dollars more than it's turning into zero dollars, I might up it and go. Okay, now I'm going to do five dollars a trade. The most I've got right now, there's a couple. I do point one Solana, which is like seventeen bucks. They've they've proven themselves enough. Sure. To where even if I lose seventeen, I'm like, eh, that's okay. I'll get it back on the next one. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. I right now am currently set up to copy one, two, three, four, seven different wallets right now, okay. all live. So if they make a trade right now, it'll go through. Every once in a while, you'll run through where this person buys the exact same thing. So then you're getting like duplicate orders. Mm. But it's kind of worked out for me because they've both been getting in early enough to the, then I just get double profits, you know? So um, that being said, I turn it off at night. So I don't want trades to happen when I'm not awake because sure. right now Solana is congested. So sometimes when they go to sell, when I, I go to sell, it'll fail. Oh, really? So then I'll, if, so if something's dropping real fast, I need to be, make sure I can get out and I need to, I need to reclick sell again because oh, my transaction sure. failed. Two, they might want to hold out for a thousand percent, but I don't. I'm fine with 200% profit on a thing. So if something hits and it's going and, you know, if it's like one, two, three hundred, I'll like, sure, I'll leave. But if it's like, if it's been going back and forth a bit and then all of a sudden, like it's hit 70, 80 percent, I'll be like, ah, that's good enough. Sure. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. And but, then but, but that's, see, a re that's a real time monitor kind of thing that you want to be yeah, you know, alive and I awake for. Going, I am hitting refresh like every five seconds okay. to see what the price is. These are trades that I'm getting in and out of ideally in less than two minutes. Oh, wow. Really? So this is like, yeah. a, eh, I'm going to, I'm going to do some trading while you're pooping or while you're, you know, the commercials on no, TV I, or something. I have, like I said, all eight set up. They can make a trade. Somebody just made a trade while we were doing it. Well, while, while, while we were doing it while well, we were recording this podcast and this is a so this is one I've set up that I, they're still in the early testing um, and they hadn't done any buys yet since I added them. And they just did three buys in a row, which is weird, uh -huh. um, but only a dollar seventy two per transaction is what I've got set up. So that's OK. And right now it's currently minus thirty one percent. That being said, this guy's return on investment over the last seven days is over ten thousand percent. Yeah. So, okay. so really, it's a dip. It's a dip. So if, if he fails on this one, I'll let it like, if like this doesn't pan out and then a couple more don't pan out, I'll be like, okay, nah. And I'll look for somebody else. All right. So All essentially right. I, I started with about 150 bucks on Monday. I've been up to about 310 right now. I'm at 290. All right. Well, that that's, yeah, you don't have to sell when it's down. All right. All right. So, we're, we're, we're in, we're in, okay. we're, we're in. We're back. I, I'm right. now, I'm now cool. on my. Coinbase, uh, my overview, I go to the primary balance tab. I have $8.93 worth of Solana. What am I doing with it? Where, where are we going? 
You should have the ability to send is what we're looking for. Yes. If I go up top, send, there is the error that it might be uh, congested, but okay. And I have send Solana to recipient. Yes. So that address that you copied would be the recipient. Okay. And I have pasted that now into the recipient uh, field, I guess. Right. And it popped up. So this is best practice. And listen, listen carefully. Everyone should do this. This is your first time really transacting. You've created a, a new wallet. But this is a good practice for everyone sending funds to a new wallet for the first time. We're just going to send like $2 first. Okay. And this is just in USD test. at this point. Um, you should know where mine is telling me it's in USD. If I, if I do my send, it's in USD and then it gives me a, Oh, I can flip flop it. Cause it says in Seoul. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's where you hit $2. Okay. So two, in, in that two USD, it tells me it's 0.0116 Solana. Yeah. And then send that it's two cents to send it. So, okay. Okay. Again, little, there's, there's network fees. There's fees. I get it. I understand. If you were to send one, you can't send two bucks from one bank to the other, like a bank to bank transfer. Like they just, it's too small. And then two, they might charge you more than that, or it'll take three days. So, okay. so hit send now. Oh, my accession has expired. I got signed out. So oh. that did not work for me. Okay. Mine, mine did. I, yeah. I hit send and it, because of the two FA, it had to send me a code. So it sent me a code. I typed yes. in the code and it says you sent, you sent. Two dollars, which is point oh one one five nine nine blah 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 blah. Cool. So, so if you I, open presumably up it, it happened. Phantom right? wallet. If you open up your phantom wallet, you should have around two dollars in there. If everything was done correctly. I have two dollars in my phantom wallet. Hey, cool. So you know the test worked. Okay. And so then that way moving forward. You'll know, okay, I can send this while it works. It's good to go. You'll feel more comfortable sending, you know, if you did $100 in sure, the future. You know? Sure. So okay. now you can go back and just do that again with the remaining $8. Or you, okay, you know, let's just do it with the two for now. Let's keep going. I, I want to I wanna try to cool. get to grandma. How many steps away from grandma are we? We're pretty close. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. We'll, we'll finish this out, out then. I do like, I'll, I'll say, how it it continues to give you everything in USD just as a reference. Yes, you can flip yeah. it. Yes, you can look at it in whatever chain you made the transaction on. Sure. But it's still, I had eight-ish dollars in the account and I sent two of it to this. It's still, it's like, oh, you okay, now there's $2 in this wallet, which equals the point right. of one once it, whatever the hell it is. So it, it yeah. constantly gives you that conversion almost to keep you grounded. And I, that yeah. I like because that I was worried about. Uh, now what you'll need to do is head over, which you can get to from our link tree, the pump fund account to buy grandma. Okay. Just re read me the link real quick for, uh, uh, I cannot cause it's a huge string of letters. It's super long. Okay. So I'll go to our link tree. <laughs> yeah. That's way easier to do that. Cause our coin has a, has an address tied to it. Uh, okay. an address and then it's the token address, which if you want to memorize that, I would be very impressed. Uh, that's probably not, uh. No, I, I end with battery numbers and that's it. And start memorizing wallet. That's why you can buy things like dot soul and dot eth address. That's why we have LOTD podcast dot crypto. You can send certain crypto to us and you don't need to put that long address in. You just put LOTD podcast dot crypto and then it sends it to us. Okay. I am on our link tr dot ee. Okay. So you will want to click on buy grandma. How it works. It gives you how it works. And then says, I'm ready to pump. Nice. All right. I guess, I guess I'm ready to pump. All right. Cool. I'm looking at the graph of grandma. There have been many, many transactions of grandma. But grandma is well on her way. Only going up. Only up. Okay. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you should see a connect wallet. Got it. This is how you will interact your Web3 Phantom wallet that you just created with dApps, which are decentralized apps, which is what this is an example of. Okay. And this will not save, I'm assuming. Every time I go to this, I'm going to have to connect the wallet for this uh, session. Or maybe it's cookie. Yeah, it might, yeah, it'll probably expire. Yeah. Okay. I'm not Phantom, connected. I've not been connected before. Phantom wallet. It's asking me, connect pump.fun. Yes. So I always I make to... sure everything's accurate. You know, make sure you're on pump.fun and not pump.fine. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, make yeah. sure it is what you want it to be. Okay, I go up, I and I want to click the Solana uh, address again, I'm assuming? Yes. 
it copied well, it. You don't actually don't need that. Yeah, um, yeah. Once once you've connected to the oh, I once see. you connect to your wallet, you can close out of the. Oh, I see. It's telling connected ones, not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is giving me a message. Sign into Pump Dot Fun, and it gives me a, a long numerical yes. code. Do I care that about that approve. right now? And you just approve it or sign the transaction. Okay. Confirm. Network Solana. Confirm. Okay. I think. Uh, I think we're there. Cool. You should be able to. Yep. It's got a little thing up top. It says that I've got 0.01. It rounds to that Solana. It gives my little part of my code thing with a view profile. So it looks like I'm connected. Got it. So you should be able to under the buy where it says 0.0 soul, put how much you want to buy in soul. In soul. So So probably 0.05 worth. Well, you only sent. Two bucks. Yeah, I only so. sent two bucks. So, I mean, I know I've got 0.011 something something. So, yeah. what if I just send 0.01? Perfect. And it should so, just tell you how much grandma you'll get for that. Uh, I will get 35, uh, approximately 355,000 grandma. Excellent. Okay. Then you will hit place trade. Place trade, add a comment, Understood. optional. I should put something yeah. in there just to be hilarious, but I won't. Place trade, scanning should- request. The transaction rev, uh, reverted during simulation. Funds may be Does, lost if sus- substituted. I don't know, big red, big red arrows. Yeah, uh, it might think it's, there's a lot of like fraud protection in Solana. Okay. Um, oh, an so account involved is this does not have enough Solana. So I wonder, what? Because maybe there's still something going on with the with the wallets not verified or so. But it, it looks, everything there looks good. Everything or here this is a backpack one which might have less confirming transaction i mean i can try again yeah try it again maybe it didn't fit should i go for even less can i do point yeah let's try that unless it won't work let's do 0.005 which only gives me 177,000 grandma oh i thought i just drove up the price with my purchase Solana grandma okay this one looks like it's more maybe it's i don't know i got fucked with the rounding or something uh, so I get a Solana. It's going to tell me how much Solana it's going to cost me. Oh, that's why I didn't have enough for whatever little transaction deals. Or yeah, something. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. So, okay. That was why. And I'm going to confirm cool. and I'm buying 177,000 grammas. Hey. Transaction confirmed. I now own some grandma. Yeah, boy. I just pumped grandma. Yeah. Let's go all up. Look, look at our holder distribution. Where do I look at that now? This is this is probably we can do this part probably after, but holder distribution. Got it. I gotta clear my notifications. One of those is you. All right. Woo! Two of them are me and one's John. <laughs> Which still leaves two more. Okay. Right? Maybe so it's you, you, uh, John, me, and two more. Just two more? Because the the ninety nine percent is how that's the oh god the damn it term. yeah sorry I don't well then there's then there's one more there's one more there's one more somebody else uh yeah baby nice get right. some get it help us pump around we taught you how to buy here live yeah we did and I'm uh I'm gonna continue to pump grandma later bye bye mailbox. <laughs> <laughs>